Hello, veteran Owen Twin here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age. One thing I forgot to mention in the last video is, uh, yeah, while well, I was using fiery arrows and I didn't actually say where I got them from, like I completely forgot to mention it, what you can do is you can actually sell two crooked fangs and four fire stones to the bazaar to, um, to make this for sale. Uh, you get like a shitty longbow, but you do get fiery arrows, and these pair extremely well with the burning bow. Uh, because they're fire elemental, the burning bow will power up the arrows uh, attack by 50%, so it's damn good. Um, yeah, Crooked Fangs are dropped by... I got a list of enemy names, so if you remember where they're at. I don't remember where they're all at. You have arrows here, we have Bell Wyvern, Red Maw, Seeker, and Wyvern. Those are the enemies that dropped them. I had like a ton of them. I had like almost 30 of them, so it was no problem for me to make. Firestones, all you gotta do is go to the Giza Plains, man. Go to the Giza Plains. Uh, in fact, where am I? Yeah. In fact, uh, well, you gotta go there in the dry season. Which, yeah, it's dry season right now for me, but... Yeah, if you just go out there and fight some hyenas, all you need is, uh, four fire stones and that's it. So, yeah, like I said, they're really easy to get. Totally worth it, too. If you're, uh, using an archer red mage combo. Alright, so we want to go to... Not an element of forest. Dalmasca Estrasand, is that the one? Mm, I guess that would be the one. I think that's, I think this is the one I need. South Bank Village, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Why don't they just call it South Bank Village? Anyways. Yeah, we're going to be heading to Barheim Passage again. Now, uh, one thing I need to mention, you need to do that side quest. If you haven't already done it, you need to do that side quest for uh, that lady where the old, where the uh, the guy is sick, or actually the Moogle's sick. And you cross the river and get the Moon Blossom Dew and sick Sea Clam Shells. Whatever the hell it's called. I forgot the name of the side quest. But yeah, you gotta do all that shit. And when you get done with it, uh, you'll get a key. And a secondary reward, depending on how many items that you got. I showed it off in a previous video. But just in case you haven't watched the previ previous videos of mine, that's what you gotta do in order to actually enter the Barheim Passage to get this optional last Yeah, the burning bow is just awesome. Burning bow, fire arrows, Faraga spells. It's gonna be amazing. Hey, bandit chief. know that this place is pretty dangerous. Um, make sure you have good healing magic uh, for healing and for for uh, for combat. A lot of undead. A lot of undead.
really sure where the fuck I gotta go here. I mean, I kinda do. You know, I, it's funny. Do you even get the option to warp down here? Before you get the key? Well, we can warp down here now. And yeah, just in case I die, always a good thing to save. But yeah, I did uh, run around the Esther Sand so I could get those uh, licenses for Fran. That way she'd have like Faraga and Blazaga and Thundaga and all that wonderful, wonderful, good, heavy shit. Oh, I th yeah, this was blocked off before. Yep. Yeah, this was blocked off before we got... Toads! Easy toads. Okay, not this one yet. Okay, yeah, this this is the one I want to show off first, because I, I don't know, well, I guess it doesn't really matter now because I already have the weapon. But there's a rare monster in here called Ethuno that you can steal the Deathbringer from. Uh, you can do it much earlier on if you decide to come in here earlier on. But yeah, this, uh... Watch out for the fucking traps. Do not hit the trap. Get out of the way. Yeah, this guy actually spawns, like, right around this area. You just have to zone in and out of the place. Or, I think it zones there. Maybe it doesn't zone there. Maybe it's farther down. Hold on here. Uh, maybe it is farther down. But yeah, if you come in here right after uh, the Tomb of Wraith wall, you might have some problems with these monsters. But uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem for me. scale as a measure weapon yeah it has on hit shell these weapons are meant to be used on your party members the good thing about these weapons are is that they're one-handed you can equip a shield with them so you can actually you can you know make your character you know pretty tanky uh, unless of course the enemy you're fighting ignores evade which there's a lot of enemies in this game that do ignore evade uh, but the ones that don't is very good um, they have elements too which doesn't make any sense because um, well I did some testing uh, with these weapons to see if I wanted to actually make Balthier a machinist red mage 
And uh, these weapons here, they, even though they have elements uh, with their attack, they don't actually power up uh, any elements. Like if you try to use spells with them, it, like it doesn't do anything for your spells. I tested every single last one of them fucking measure weapons to see if they did anything to spell power and they don't do shit. So if you're wondering about that, I can confirm that they, unless they completely revamped it and changed it for this release, in the Japanese International Zodiac Job System, uh, the measures do not, I repeat, do not power up your elemental spells. Because I was confused about it at first, because there was a fact on GameFAQ for the international version of the game where the guy who made the fact claimed in his fact that uh, those measures actually powered up elements when they do not. The way he had his fact written in the tables and all that stuff, it was explicitly listed there that uh, <laughs> that measures powered up elements. So I'm like, I'm thinking, oh, okay then, so I can just uh, make ball theory, make ball theory machinist because the machinist gets measure weapons, right? I can just make ball theory machinist and then I can use measures for uh, magic, but um, yeah, that's not the case. And we have a float mode. Mimeo. Don't be doing that to us. Toxify. Okay, the Toxify spell. I don't remember what that does, but I don't think I'm very keen on it. Where is it? Was it black magic? Yes, it is. Damage all foes in range. Eh. Don't care. It's like a AOE poison. Nice job, Ash. We gotta do something about the slimy oil, huh? You don't know Asuna. Asuna doesn't work. Fucking annoying. Fucking traps. Oh shit, I should not be using that kind of ammo for these guys. Why 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 are you no? No no no. Apparently I need to turn that off for the time being. Let's just give you something different. Let's give you an ice staff. Yeah, there we go. Now we won't have any problems. With this kind of shit. Hell, it should even work against uh, undead as well.
There we go. bombs I hope not oh never mind <laughs> I couldn't see him man I suppose I could skip them the holy eh? Unfortunately I don't have any holy attacks really so we just gotta do the next best thing which is uh hit him with fire or ice Barheim Candle. Oh, 
33 kill. Come on, buddy. Where's all the good loot? Where's all the good stuff, man? Uh-oh. Bombs, please. Garbage. bombs down here. It's sort of like a fast way to equip arrows. Yeah, these assholes like to put reflect on, huh? Yeah, how do you like that? I just got rid of your fucking wall. Haha, uh -huh. jerk. Kuganai? A Kuganai, I that's a weapon, I believe. I don't remember. Was it a ninja sword? Yep, it certainly is. It's not bad either. On hit slow, doesn't have an element, but it's got on hit slow. Hmm. Can I give it to Vaughn? Ninja Swords 1? Yes, it is. Yeah, so never mind. I guess I, I'm not going to use it. Yeah, because I won't be getting Ninja Sword, sword uh, 1s for Vaughn. Sorry, Vaughn. I'm reserving the better Ninja Swords for you. I guess in the time being, you're going to have to use uh, katanas or daggers. Uh, where am I going here? 
Okay, this is the dangerous part of the dungeon. And we get the sheer ability. Yes, these are nice. These are extremely, extremely useful. Lower one foe is magic resist. This is going to be useful against uh, well, enemies that high, have high magic defense and you're trying to like whittle it down so you can actually do uh, magic damage against them. It's a break technique. Very, very good. In this version of the game, they actually work on high level bosses. Finish her off. Finish him off. What do I have? Post. I don't have a faux status reflect. I forgot to do that. That's why she's fucking dying. I don't remember what spells I have that can actually go through Reflect. Maybe Drain Count. Hmm. Let me test some here. Gotta reflect. And was it green? Yeah, it's green, okay. Don't kill Fran. Okay, it does go through reflect, very handy. I like it. In fact. Although, oh shit, but these are undead. That's probably gonna do the fucking opposite. That's probably gonna fucking, um... Shit, man. Well, well, we'll give it a try. If it fucking kills her outright and heals the, the fucking undead, then we'll know, we'll know it was bad. Shit's taking too long, man. Alright, I don't think there's going to be any more bombs in here. So let's get this party started. With the fire, man. Let's get fire, let's get, let's get the fire going again.
Ice takes too long to fucking... The animation is, uh... Too fucking slow. That's probably part of the reason. I had problems there. Should be whooping these guys. Should be whooping them, man. Should be whooping them. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, see? Should be whooping them. I hate these things. I hate how they warp around. I hate their bullshit. Yeah, see. Fire's a lot better for those guys. Step in the trap. Thank you. That was close. These guys, yeah, they just come out of nowhere, man. They're everywhere in this place. Don't step in the poop. Oh, man, you stepped in the poop. You're not supposed to do that. We are all pooped. Does heal. So we can't do that. That sucks. What can we do instead? X potion? They are undead. Fumarole, I believe this is a uh, bomb weapon. Yep. Don't care. Yeah, bomb weapon is basically. Ooh, another one. Bombs are basically the uh, ranged version of uh, axes and hammers. So essentially, they're worthless. I'm not a big fan of them. I mean, the only reason I made Bosch a fucking breaker was for the break techniques. I wanted to make sure I had all of them. And I also knew that uh, with the time age, uh, if I got a certain Esper, I'd be able to get some decent one-handed swords. It wasn't going to be that big of a deal.
Yeah. If it doesn't kill him outright with an X potion. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That'll, that'll work. Fucking guys, man. Do it again. I can't even see where these fucks are coming from. <laughs> Killed by an explosion. there, we just gotta power through these fucking undead. gain that much levels in this place yet. But yeah, these undead, man, they're just relentless. Really, really don't want me to fucking explore this place. What's too bad for them, because... I'm gonna explore them. I'm gonna explore this place whether they like it or not. Ooh, there we go, Flare. Nice job, Ash. Yeah, see, this is why the charge ability is amazing because when you run out of MP. You never really run out of MP because you just keep using charge. It's got pretty good success rate too. Oh shit.
another Salil thing. Eventually there will be a boss where you can't uh, use magic. Like, the magic's command is actually um, sealed. So those mo moat items are going to be pretty damn good. chest down here. Anyway. 42 minutes, huh? I'm gonna keep uh, zoning in and out until I get a chest, hopefully. I know there's a chest over here. Oh, wait. I didn't even see it at first. A cameo bell, okay. Damn, this shit was fucking hard to see. Proves chance to hit. And it raises magic power, too. So yeah, if you're um, fighting an enemy that has high evade, this can, uh, well, it helps your uh, to hit chance. So there you go. Good to have. Well, I got through the Barheim Passage. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll just keep going. Why well, split this up? I don't think we'll have a problem with this boss anyways coming up. Uh, basically, you gotta beat him in like a time limit. I always attempt to beat this guy when I'm like lower level and I don't have as good abilities or spells, so I'm thinking I might kick his ass this time. At least I hope. Hopefully I don't have to adjust my gambits at all. This is Zalera, the Death Seraph. Pretty badass. Magic works. Get away from me. Ow. Is this guy, um... Come on, man. Let me try non-elemental stuff. Okay. I guess he's immune to fire. Or he was. Instant death. Ain't that a bitch? Instant death. Quit killing us, you cunt. <laughs> Jeez. Stop it. Come 
confuse. Don't do that. Oh, you're just in love with those instant death attacks, aren't you? Stop that shit, man. Shit's getting old really fast. Uh. Fuck the cure gambits. Alright. They aren't helping. We just need to just keep fucking dealing damage to them. Phoenix stones to this fight. Uh oh. I hope this doesn't kill us. Good. Didn't kill us. Level 5 reverse. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not level 35. Come on, we got this guy. We got him. He is totally fucked. Yeah! Yeah, that girl that's attached to him, it's like pretty messed up, man. Yeah, bring Phoenix down to that fight. Now the gymnast. Yeah, we get Zalera the Death Seraph, which is an um, interesting Asper. Dark Elemental. Let's uh, take a look. Alright, so where, where else is this guy at? Blocking the Blood Sword. And the Karta and the Karkata. Hmm. I don't think I care about that for Vaughn, though. Maybe more so for Ash. And then both here. Where, where is it, buddy? Oh, it's right here. Okay, not giving it to you. Uh, uh, where is it? Nope. Brand's not getting it. This one blo box. Fuck you, traveler. That's crap. Ash. for the night and then the bushi's up here yeah the uh, karkata that's a that's a really good one-handed sword that uh, 
it's slightly stronger attack power than the Deathbringer. I think it's like a 91 or 92 attack power. It has 100% on hit confuse, so it's insanely good. Uh, the only time it's not on hit confuse, 100% uh, is when obviously an enemy is immune to the effect. But it's insanely good. Um, let's see what else we have here. Traveler? No. No, no, no. And what does this one block? Steel, poach, and steel and poach. I don't care about that. Oh, you know what? I don't need to give this to her. I just remembered, yeah, this license is on the night board. So I can already get it. So, guess what? I guess Vaughn is getting this. So if I decide to get two of these swords, then I can have two characters uh, with the freaking sword. Besides, yeah, I mean, I guess I need one to have some aspers too, huh? Magic lure. There we go, there you go, Vaughn. Merry Christmas. Well, there you have it. Yeah, again, I just showed you. Make sure that... I almost forgot to make sure that uh, you don't have like if some if an Esper is blocking an ability you want on one board, make sure it's not already on another board. Like in that case, you know they had this license here, uh, but I was actually able to get it from uh, the opposite board. That way I could bypass the Esper because yeah, once you unlock this one. Every node adjacent to it, uh, basically gets activated, so. There you go. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy XII. I need to... Get to actually get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I should probably should show how to get the fuck out of here, too, huh? An elixir. And a reverse mode. Holy shit, look where we end up. The Garam Scythe Waterway. Holy moly. Kinda messed up, huh? I need to go save. Anyways, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory how to get out of here. You just, um... You just go north. See you next time. Bye-bye.